time for some more Night in the Woods. That's kind of all I've got to say, so let's get on with it. See if anyone's sent us a chat message. I'm not going to play Demon Tower, don't worry. Hey, Greg. Oh, by the way, Bean works at the old pickaxe, so you can go there. Get some tools, lol. <laughs> pickaxe and go on the rampage. <laughs> I think we should probably go and see V today. Okay, let's head downstairs, see what's going on. Home again. Where the people know my name. And my mom's name. And my dad's name. And about the time I put that kid in the hospital. See if Candy's doing something. There she is. Morning, Mom. All day, Mom. Every day, Mom. I know I stole that joke myself. <laughs> what are you up to today? Greg and Angus and B are going to a party. So I might go out with them. A party, huh? Look at you. Back two days and already the social butterfly. I'm a little nervous. Oh, you'll be fine, sweetie. Get out there and mingle. Actually, I think it's mostly going to be old high school people. I wonder if Cole will be there. I always thought you two were so cute together. Mom, no! Oh, sorry, honey. I didn't know that was still a sensitive subject. It's not. Okay, while well you go out there and have a nice time, honey. I will. See you later. Selmers has to say today. So what are you up to these days? Ah, uh, crashing here until I get back in my own place. Parents rented out half the place to Mr. Chazakov. I've been babysitting, interviewed at Ham Panther, waiting to hear back. Oh, my dad works at Ham Panther now. They got everything. all these council people. did I use for B now? I've forgotten. We'll find out. Yeah, Bill, write it up as on the clock. 
Oh, she's not going to like that. I don't care if she doesn't like it. It was her fault, plain and simple. That is time extra. We charge for that. All right, then. Hey, B. Hi. How's work? Ah, oh, stressful. End of the month coming up. And I have to start ordering in winter stuff. Which means I have to bribe one or hopefully two of the guys to unload the trucks. Because I am not carrying the truck full of rock salt by myself. Huh? What do you want? Well, Greg asked me to ask you if you would drive us to the party tonight. You know, the one up in the state park? Thanks for clarifying. Otherwise, I might have been confused as to which of the dozens of parties going down on any given night in Possum Springs you were referring to. Are you being sarcastic? I'll drive. Great, thanks. We'll be by your house at 8.30. Be ready, I'll go without you. Okay. Don't get lost on your way home. I know where I live. No, seriously, go home and get ready. All right, all right, jeez. <laughs> Quick look at May's notebook there, and we'll carry on. I'm trying not to do too many little side things, but I find it's quite easy to just get distracted and skip. Start having these weird conversations with people. Speaking of which, let's see if Angus is in one. Hey, May. How's the locked laptop running? Really good, thanks so much. Well, glad to be of service. So, like... Yeah? How is this door still open? Well, there's a certain romance to VHS and DVD that simply cannot be matched. Really? Nope. <laughs> nice one, Angus. Wait, do you actually have VHS? Well, mostly the adult section back behind the curtain. Whoa, really? Yeah, some folks are like really into seeking them out. It's like a whole little scene that goes back before the internet. We had a historian in there last month looking for some obscure video. How'd you get that job? Oh, I think that's the kind of job you can normally have if you don't need to have a job. So this party tonight, huh? Yeah, should be fun. I hadn't pegged you as a party person. Oh, I'm not really, but parties with Greg are different. How so? You know how you want to just go and stand in a corner sometimes? Yeah. Greg's my corner. Oh. And jumping a character, I'm with you right on that 100%, Angus. We all need a corner sometimes. Ah, shut up. See you later. For sure. This is an error so bad even I wouldn't make it. I think there's a real reason for that one. I feel someone's seen that somewhere. Also, where was the other video outpost? So many questions, me. <laughs> hey there. Uh, hey. Who are you? Wax. Okay, hello. What are you? Oh wait, there's a sign. 
Maybe, huh? Yes, ma'am. Have you ever considered a future in the Navy? Like boats? Well, it's a lot more than that, but yes, there are boats. <laughs> Can I drive a submarine? Potentially. Eh, I can do that on my own. Later. You know, I don't want to intrude. But if you're someone who's maybe lacking a bit of direction, that's what brings a lot of folks to the Navy. Yeah, but I have lots of direction. Like, I'm gonna hang out with friends, play bass, play video games, go to sleep. Etc. I guess I might drive a submarine to the list somewhere. Well, just saying. I'm gonna go now. Alright now, have a good one. Are you like I'm around here? Oh nearby. Used to be anyway. Is this like a thing they make you do? Like, why aren't you on a battleship or something? Well, every job's important. This is just my job right now. Have you been places? Oh, I've been all over the world. See any sharks? I've seen sharks, yes. Big ones. Pretty big, pretty big. When you're doing your pitch, you should lead with the sharks. Noted. Or, like instead of the Navy doing Navy stuff, you make the entire thing about sharks. Shark diving, shark watching, shark riding. Are you writing this down? I'll send it up the chain. Bye, Wax. Let's just see if anyone's out here past the snack ball coming in the uh park store and the diner. Uh, I'm not hiking out to the edge of town today. I've got stuff to do. This cat has been backwards and forwards on his little mobility scooter about five times now. Let's go and have a quick word with Greg. Let's let him know that B's going to drive us. I know I'm waffling sometimes, it's just I feel I need to fill in the space. Party, party, party! Jeez, dude, you're excited about this party. You're gonna be there, that's awesome. God, what a great week it's been. You're home! I'm home! My arms are tired! Come start getting ready. I think we'll pop through Tony Sentry platform on the way. Yeah. Stop and talk to the tunnel teens today. Things to do. going on here. Yeah, the stairs and that. Let's just go and see what's going on with this guy, why not? If we can. Ah, he's not going to talk to us, okay. Uh, be like that. Watch my other videos, I can't remember half these voices are now. <clears throat> hey, May. What? 
I was just stopping by to see how you were doing. Why? After the other night, I mean. Why wouldn't I be fine? Hey, a lot of things are happening around here. Sometimes in town, sometimes out by the tracks. Sometimes up in the hills. What? It's my job to make sure folks like you never see something like what you saw the other night. You're not doing a very good job of it. Better than you might think. I've been back less than three days and already saw dead body parts. Which wasn't a big deal, but... Well, you didn't see Tom Jennings shoot his brother in the stomach. Last night on D Doty Line Road, out past Arna. You didn't have to walk out into that cornfield. Jeez. You're a kid, mate. And you're naive. And its own stupid way, that's beautiful. But the world isn't. And the world isn't out there somewhere. It's here. Alright, you can arrest me or something. Because I have a party to go to. Watch yourself, me. I'd really hate to see something happen to you. And being in the wrong place at the wrong time is all it takes. That's all I'm saying. That's ominous. Good night, me. Construction fox. We've gone too far. I wasn't really paying attention to the background then. Here we go. Hey, sweetie. Ah, look who's home. Hey, the parents. I made tacos. Excuse me, a wee made tacos. 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 <coughs> Do you want tacos? I want tacos every day, all day. Well, a family that tacos together, rockos together. Honey, no. What? I am so angry right now. Oh, you've all turned against me. Hey, honey, do you want sour cream on your taco? I want everything. Okay, okay, okay. It's go time. Uh, I should probably make sure I don't look like a cave beast. Nothing wrong with like a cave beast, me. That's our default setting for some of us. <laughs> messages here oh, oh hey don't forget about the party tonight I haven't then what are you doing on your laptop get ready already jeez okay oh my god party time are you ready B I'm ready are you ready oh maybe I should get ready yeah maybe I think B's voice has just changed when we talked during the pickaxe there. Oops. There we go. Looking alright. I have the worst face. I have a nightmare face. Jeez, what a mess. My big dumb eyes, my nightmare eyes. Nightmare eyes would be an excellent horror, excellent horror movie name. I should do that in a horror movie voice, shouldn't I? Do? Nightmare eyes would be an excellent horror movie name. You'll see the nightmare eyes outside your window, and you'll know. You can do this. People like you. 
You don't like people, clearly. Just because that online test said that your best chance at being happy is a situation where everyone already likes you, but they mostly leave you alone, except when they're delivering food to you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll read that again. Except when they're delivering food to you. That doesn't mean you can hide in your room and wait for that to happen. That's how hermits are made, me. And they die alone in the middle of winter, waiting for pizza from friends they don't want to see. Who cares if coal is there? Jerk. Prom was a mistake in like ten different ways. That dress, that picture under the doorway flower thing, less slow dancing than slow standing, careful non-touching, no smooches. I'm so glad I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm so glad I never have to go for that. Proms weren't a thing back in Britain. Hopefully they're still not. (laughs) Anyway, back to the plot. My breath tastes like tacos. This is a disaster. All right, what are you going to say? You're a smooth talker. You're a smoothie. Yeah. Let's go with this one. Hi, I'm May. How's it going? Really? That's fascinating. That is so true. Well, see you later. Okay, good. That sounds normal. No one can prove you're not normal. And really everyone looks normal in the dark. I'm pretty sure that's the only way sex works. No comment, mate. This is hopeless. Wheel me out to the curb for garbage day. Oh jeez, they'll be here any minute. Oh, good luck, kid. I don't need luck. I make my own luck. With a luck machine. The party. Hey, May, I think Cole might be there tonight. Yeah, I know. Gee, sorry. Oh, I don't care if he's there. Well, he might not be. Well, let's hope so or not. I don't even know what we're talking about. Our oh, main call went out in junior year. Yeah, and it didn't work out. So let's stop talking about it. Well, let's. <laughs> uh, that was awful. I hate beer. I can't remember the last time I drank beer. It's not a delicious drink at all. Oh God, it's... Okay, it's a dramatic pause and it's not saying anything, mate. Oh, hey, Greg and Angus. Hey dudes! Yo, did you see Coles here? Oh god. Are you okay? Yeah, totally fine. You gonna talk to him? Yeah, sure. Yeah, man. You sure me? Yeah, I mean, why should I be weird about it? Well, I mean, you did write that song afterwards. What was it called? Go Get Dead, Angel Face. Ah, we don't talk about Go Get Dead, Angel Face. Can you guys believe this dude playing guitar? Yep, playing the douchebag hits. I like this song. Or is this a douchebag song? No, don't worry, big guy. There is a douchebag like this at every party. You have no idea, Greg. Back in school, you'd always have some frat boy hanging out on the lawn, trying to look all sensitive. 
Why is this a douchebag song? And if that came through on the soundtrack, that's my cat destroying something in the kitchen. Maybe I need another drink. Beer is just when those horrible things adults do. Like doing taxes and having babies. Hey! May, hey, is that you? Wow, how are you? Sounds a bit old for college. I do something different. Hi, I'm May. How's it going? I just asked you that. I mean, I'm fine. Just back visiting for the weekend. Really? That's fascinating. I guess. Well, I think that's the first time in a while anyone has called my life fascinating. That is so true. Well, see you later. Okay. What the hell is your problem? What? Uh, May, I'm just as bad as small talk. Be cool, May. Go get a drink and be cool. Screw it, I'm doing two beers. I'm doing beer. I still taste tacos. Okay? What? Nothing. Ah, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know, he's still playing the guitar. Let's go and see if Greg and Angus have anything to think about this. Hey, Greg! Whoa, dude, are you okay? Hey, Greg, did you know I think you were you and Angie? <clears throat> hey, Greg, do you know I think you and Angie? Angie? That's so cute. I did know that, dude. Well, good. Hey, Angie. My dad knows your dad. They used to work together back in the 80s. Okay. He used to hang at the bar with your daddy. Dude. Don't ever say daddy again. Psst. What? My dad had to stop drinking because he was a danger to me and my mom. <laughs> Dude. Okay, May, you're not allowed to drink anymore. Ever. Okay, May, I'm a little worried about you. Well, I'm having a great time here in the woods, okay? Greg, don't you think May should maybe sit down? Yeah, dude, you should sit. Dude, sit down by the fire and chill, okay? She sits down. Hey, mate. Hey, Cole, yo. <clears throat> wow, haven't heard that in forever. It's been like three years. That's not long at all. Well, it was good to see you. I'm just back for a couple of days from school and... Shut up already. What? <clears throat> what? We never even kissed. Oh, didn't we? No, not successfully. I'm sorry. I don't even care. The girl at the video store is all like, Ooh, cute, cute boys. And you're a cute boy, Cole. Oh, uh, thanks, May. I... But I hate cute people. Cute is the worst. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. And it's not my fault. I'm a total trash fire. 
I got nightmare eyes. And the last thing you see is my eyes outside the window. And then I stab you with my knife. Stab, stab, stab. Boom, dead. When the police get there, you're all nightmare eyes. New nickname. So don't F with me, kid. Okay, May, you're threatening people now. May, I think you need to. F college. Yeah. <clears throat> All those rich kids and hot people. All writing sex and having papers with each other. Well, close enough. And that damn statue pointing at me every day. Supposed to be the founder, but just shapes. I... I'm a total trash mammal. Nothing's ever going to work out. We never had a chance here, but I can't go anywhere else. I'm home again. And I can do something besides sleep. And cry alone. <coughs> I swear I'll do that in a high-pitched May voice. Because things aren't just things here, you know. Oh God, I'm so sick to death. Does that make sense, Colio? May, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I think you're really great. Home again! Woo! Ah! Tacos! Well, <coughs> Boys, be is so difficult to do. If you puke in his car, so help me. I owe you an apology, B. I'm sorry, I don't even know what happened. I oh, got sloppy ass drunk after what? Three cups of watered down beer? I remember when we hung out as kids. I remember when we were like best friends, B. Remember you used to call me Mayday. And I called you BB. Oh, you mean when we were like ten? No, I don't. Remember when we were scouts together? And we caught that turtle. Yeah, Foxy the turtle. He died. I feel like you're mad at me all the time. Why? Why are you so mad at me all the time? Oh man, if I puke at your parents, they'll be so mad at me. Tell your mom I'm sorry. Oh, she's so nice. God damn it, me. Wow. My mother is dead. What? She died of cancer. Senior year. Oh no, she was so nice. Baby, are you okay? How do you not know this? Did you forget about my dead mom? This was a terrible lapse of memory, B. I'm so sorry. I don't remember anything sometimes. Don't take it personally. What happened to you? You used to be smart. You used to be cool. You used to be worth talking to. Why did you even come back? Oh, did college not work out for you? Was it inconvenient? Were you not in the mood? I'd have killed for that. I still would. Oh, I'd kick you out of this moving car right now if it meant I could go to college. Even attempt that one. Wait here, uh, get the hell out of my car. <laughs> oh, <coughs> oh God, let me help you in. There you go. I'm sorry, B. I'm a mess. You know, whatever. It's not your fault. You're just a kid. I'm older than you, two months. Yeah, well, 
I stayed here and got older. Well, you went off and stayed the same. Uh, good night, Mayday. Oh, that's sweet. She does care. A bit. Yeah, I'm not saying anything, it's not much to say in this section. Just listen to the music. Okay, it's not my favourite piece of music. I, prefer, I think I prefer uh, Astral Coal Town and Astral Train myself. It's definitely kind of eerie. This is Pounder Statue in the first. That makes sense. Sounds like a good place to stop. I can think about that dream for a while. I will pick it up here next time. Until then, bye now. <laughs>